Hey everybody, I am really excited and nervous to do this um, makeup look today. So I wanted to do something I've never done before and I don't know how it's gonna work because my skin type is kind of oily, um, or not kind of, it is oily. Um, I wanna do, I'm looking at what I picked out. I'm gonna do a full face of liquid and cream. I'm not going to use any powders. It's going to be all liquids and creams or gels. I. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit guys, but we're gonna try it out So if you're interested in seeing what I come up with and how this goes, then just keep watching Okay guys, so we are going to actually be doing a full face of liquids creams um, anything that's not powder so I'm really nervous, but we're gonna give it a go and see what we come up with. So for my primer, I'm using the Mary Kay uh, Foundation Primer. I'm almost out of it. I'm trying to kind of use it up so I can get some new stuff to uh, try. Instead of buying all the things and not uh, getting rid of some. So <laughs> we're gonna use it. It has a slight SPF to it of 15. Um, I can't decide what foundation I want to wear. So I grabbed the Maybelline Fit Me and then I grabbed the Mary Kay CC Cream. Um, let's do the Mary Kay CC Cream since we're using the primer. So this is what it looks like. Um, I am not a Mary Kay person, so if you're interested in getting anything Mary Kay, find a local Mary Kay seller person and they can help you. And this is in shade, I believe light to medium. Yep, light to medium and it has an SPF of 15. So I'll have a little bit of SPF going on. So I'm really excited about that because tonight we are going to be hanging out outside and playing some games outside and uh, having a little get together. So I need some sun protection. Make sure we don't get a sunburn or skin cancer or anything like that part so will this part the concealer I'm going to use the it bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer this is in the travel size I'm trying to use it up um, from it huh and this one is in shade medium so this is the same shade that I use um, in the big one I just found this small one the other day and I was like why do I have a teeny one let's get rid of it let's use it all get rid of it be done with it so I'm working on him and just working that where I need some more coverage on scarring my hormonal acne that thank God is going away because oh was killing me who else gets really bad ladies who else gets really bad hormonal acne that like nothing will get rid of it it's super I'm like, I've tried all the tricks, all the things, and it doesn't work. Like, I've literally never been able to figure out what to use. I don't think you can. I really don't think there's anything that you can do. I feel like you just, it happens, and you deal with it, and you cover it up, and you move on. Like, I don't know what else to do, which sucks. So, if anyone has something that they've done and it's worked for them with their hormonal acne, please let me know. Because with regular acne that comes up every once in a while, I can get rid of it overnight. But hormonal acne won't budge. So please let me know if you've done something and it's worked for you. Because I would love to know and try it out. If it works, I will let everybody know because oh, it's bad. Okay, so this is where it's gonna get uncomfortable. Um, this is when I usually do my powder to set everything down. Um, okay guys, so now we're going to do the brows and we are going to use the Benefit Cabrow Gel Pomade and it is in shade three. Brush these boogers out. And I'm just using the Benefit um, Angled Brow Brush.
and a little goes a long way with this product. And then where my bald spot is, I like to go in with the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. This is the little mini one. It's a super precise, thin pencil, and I have it in shade four, so it's a little bit darker. And I use it to fill in the little areas where I have no hair and that don't like to get any type of coverage. And then also to get my tail nice and thin. And then I just take a concealer brush and fix it up. And that brow is good to go. Okay, okay guys, this is where it's gonna get uncomfortable. This is where I usually set down with powder so that I'm not so worried about uh, getting oily and nasty and I am definitely a little bit uncomfortable with the amount of shine going on. It looks healthy right now, but I know what it's gonna look like. It's not that it looks bad now. I know what it's going to look like and I'm scared to death um, to just let it go like this, but we're trying it and we're gonna see what happens. Maybe it'll control it itself because it's not drying it out in the beginning with a powder. We'll see. Who knows? So I'm gonna go in with the, so this is actually a highlighter, but don't laugh. I was like, I don't have a liquid bronzer, what do I do? So I'm gonna use the Stila Heavenly Hue Highlighter in the shade Bronze. Um, we will see. I can't use this as a highlighter, guys. Like, I have a video, um, if you haven't seen it already, where I used it as a um, eyeshadow because I can't really use it for anything else. Um, so we're just gonna see what it does as a bronzer. Who knows? I am just going to like be super glowy, I think. I'm kinda nervous. But worst case scenario, we're outside, I'll just look like uh, I sweated and I'll just come up with something. I'm like, oh yeah, I got hot. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll run around and act like I like did something with my life while we're outside and then maybe It'll just look like it was from me running around. Who knows? I'm just interested to see how my skin handles all this liquid. And some of this stuff, like here in a minute, I'm going to use my Hoola uh, contour, yeah, quickie contour stick. I like never wear it, and so I need to use it. I'm just really weird about using too much liquid on my face. You guys, I am so glowy. The color is nice, um, but now you can see why I can't wear it as a highlighter because it is much, much, much too dark for a highlighter for my skin tone, but it is a really pretty color. Whew, so I just put that in the areas where I would typically kind of bronze, minus a little bit, because I don't want to be too much in my T-zone because I'll usually bronze in my T-zone area as well. Um, this is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick um, and it is broken so I have to be really careful. Um, I usually will bronze here but with it being liquid we're going to not do it in my T-zone because that's where I get super oily. We're just going to put this in the normal contour areas. And I'll actually use this to contour my nose. And maybe we'll get a little bit of um, cutting out of the shine <laughs> with this. We will see. Oh gosh. Who else has ever done this? Like, that's oily. Not, um, if you are dry, you guys, this is probably the best thing ever for your skin to give it that healthy glow. But if you're someone that is really oily, have you ever done this before? And if you have, how did that go for you? <laughs> see if we have a similar, a similar story and situation. So I feel like this contour stick like covered up that little bit of bronze that we had going on. Oh well. It's probably just like sliding all over my face. It 
Ew, that made my nose super dark. <laughs> this looks so harsh. I want, this is the foundation one I used earlier and concealer. I really want some powder. I'm just going to lightly tap that. It's not awful yet. We haven't finished yet. <laughs> okay, next we're going to do a um, blush. This is by Marabella and it is in the Visionary line, I'm guessing. It says Visionary on the lid and it's in the shade Vivid Long Wearing Eyeshadow that um, when I bought it, they said that it was a really great blush and I have used it as a blush before um, under my powder. I've never just used it alone. Um, this is what it looks like. So clearly I've used quite a bit of it um, in the past, but I have had it for quite a while. I'm just going to tap it. See, you can see it's kind of drying out. And I know that this looks super scary when I first put it on. And then it always ends up like disappearing into my skin when I work it into it. I really actually like that. It's not horrible. Get that little clump off of there. I want to try to make my lid be the pretty color and then do like a crease color with this one. So we will see how it goes. That's my idea. Hopefully it'll turn out. So I'm just going to use that <laughs> sponge. Oh my gosh. And place that all on the lid. You guys, I don't even know where you can get the Mirabella. I will list everything below that I use um, and I'll see if I can find where you can get it. How I got it is it's a professional um, like makeup brand and it was at a hair show. So that's how I ended up getting it, um, but I'm not sure where you can buy it at. So I will try to see if I can find it and if I can, I'll link it below for you or just try to find something similar if you want to recreate the look. I think these are starting to dry out because they're flaking on me. Which would make sense because I very, <laughs> I very rarely use them. I always like it when I use it. It's just I very rarely use it. Clean up all that fallout that we just had. Okay, now, ooh, girl, let's try to do a crease color with this little booger. This one doesn't look quite as dried out. I'm gonna put it more on like the tip. Oh, that was brown from me trying to use this and it didn't work. So I'm gonna put it mostly on the tip and then work it into the crease, kind of place the color there. And then I'll use the flat side to blend it out. You guys, I'm like barely breathing because I'm trying to get this perfect. I'm scared. It's not horrible. We're just going to get rid of a little bit of that right in here. Fix that up right there. See if we can save it. Where'd my concealer brush go? Right here. Concealer brush. I'm 
and clean up that outer edge. It's not as bad. Let's see what we can do over here because this side is definitely worse. Okay, so for my eyeliner, I'm going to use the NYX Professional Epic Black, and this one is a black mousse liner. Get this little protective liner off. I haven't used it very much because I'm not huge on liner. So that is the black. You can tell I've used it a couple times, but I very rarely do, so it's gonna be freaking entertaining um, for you guys to watch because I am not very good at it. So I'm just going to use my, I think this is e.l.f. No, yeah, e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. Boop, boop, right there. And I'm so scared. And you guys, I just realized I'm an idiot. Uh, I have a crap ton of Stila liquid eyeshadows. Yeah, and I decided to make it hard and use some stuff that was all dried out and nasty. So I might fix it up here in a little bit with that. So we'll see what I do. I suck at eyeliner. I'm going to be so quiet because I'm so nervous. And I'm just like barely getting anything because I'm scared to death. I'm going to look like a totally different person today. It's just what it is. I just have such small eyes that I feel like when I do eyeliner, they look even tinier. And I am not very good at um, winged liner. So I just do a teeny tiny thing and clean it up with concealer brush and then I call that real because I'm not good at it. So this is not a good um, what you should do situation but for me it's okay. <laughs> What is this called? Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in the shade black and we're going to use this on the waterline. And clean that little little drop off there we'll call this good enough it's not great it's good enough but I am going to go ahead and take that Stila liquid glow in the shade starlight and use little tiny dot and take my pinky finger and make that the inner corner highlight A mm, little bit more. This one's pretty intense if you're not careful. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the highlighter. And it's a Stila Heavenly Hue in the shade Kitten. This and I'm just using my ring finger and swirling it in there. And then working it onto my cheekbone and honestly y'all I probably don't even really need a highlighter with how much I'm glowing a little on the tip of my nose and chin area and this shade is almost too dark for me like I need to get a tan on you guys like no joke it I need a tan bad okay let's just do the mascara I'm gonna use the it superhero uh, mascara and it's just a black mascara haven't used this one in forever oh, too far away from you guys let 
Let me make my strange face while I do this. Here's why I don't wear this mascara. It is thick, 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 but my lashes look thick. And so if you like that, then this is perfect for you. feels heavy though. That's the bad thing. I mean, I'm not opposed to my lashes looking thick, but I don't like how heavy it feels. I fit 3D brow tones to set and give a little bit of a different tonal dimension in the brows. Set these babies down. And then I'm gonna go off camera and do my lashes and I will be right back, you guys. All right, guys, I got the lashes on. I think it totally brought the look together because it was struggling. Um, in my opinion, it was struggling. You know, I was doing my lashes and I got to looking down and I was like, you know, my skin does not look bad at all. It actually looks super healthy and the lashes helped a crap ton for me personally. Um, I definitely feel like this is something I could do in the summertime and feel comfortable. Maybe even skipping like that bronzer section when I use that highlighter in the bronze shade. So I don't feel like it really did anything, but that contour and that blush, I really like in the highlight. So I am, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm I'm not I'm not upset that I did it. So I might do it again. Who knows? <laughs> I'm glad I tried it and I actually like it. So that's a good thing. Um, let's finish off the look with some lip gloss. We're gonna use the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. It's a high shine um, gloss in Chic Got Real. It's a nice like pinky color. I really like it. So we got a natural look going on. and super hydrated. So I can live for it. I like it. Let me get closer up for you guys. So this is the final look. I think that I'm going to feel very comfortable being outside and hanging out with friends and family and just relaxing and enjoying um, each other's company and having fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the look um, and you had fun and some entertainment watching me try to get comfortable using all these creams and liquids because it was definitely an uncomfortable situation, but I am very happy with the way it came out and I hope you are too. Um, I will try to link everything again um, down below as usual, um, everything that I can find for you guys, especially with the brands that I'm not sure of, um, but I will try my hardest to find them for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this look, just leave me a like, please. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when my next one goes up. Um, and then just leave a comment down below of what you guys would like to see next or if you want to challenge me to do something because it's makeup. It's fun and just like today, I'd never done this before and I did and I actually like how it came out. So just let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.